No, I can just assure Botswana that uh, Botswana is not an earthquake prone country. Although occasionally we do have such earthquakes occurring. Like we, we have heard of the 1952 earthquake that occurred in the Okavango Delta. That was a 5.7 magnitude earthquake. 6.7 or 5.7? Or 6, 6.7. 6.7. 6. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, the, the 1952 earthquake in the Okavango Delta was a 6.7 magnitude earthquake. But we must remember that's a historical number. We did not have um, precise instruments at the time. Unlike now, when we say 6.5, like the recent earthquake, we are sure it's a 6.5 magnitude earthquake. So we have had, yes, a few of those earthquakes, but normally we have uh, earthquakes in the region of 3, 3.5, and to some extent 4.5. We have a number of earthquakes every year in Botswana, particularly in the Okavango Delta. Although people do not feel them, they are measured by instruments uh, that we have spread all over the country. We advise people not to panic too much because such earthquakes, the little they can do is just uh, scare animals and probably cause a little movement along the delta that people would not feel. And for us and to scientists in general, it's just part of the movement of the East African Rift System as the Okavango Delta is part of the East African Rift System. So when an earthquake happens, an earthquake that is felt by humans happens, when you are indoors, we advise people to stay indoors, stay away from hanging objects, stay as close to window, to, sorry, to walls as you can, avoid windows because of breaking glass. Uh, glass can break and hurt you. If there's a table in a room, just duck under the table, grab hold of the leg of the table so that it does not move due to the shaking. That will protect you from falling objects. If stay as close to the walls as you can because bricks that fall on the top of the walls will probably fall over you rather than on top of you. So that's the advice. Running outside is a bit risky because you have also electric poles that can fall over you. We have tall trees and other things that are not, not, that are not as strong as you are indoors. So generally, stay calm and practice those and you'll be safe. The earthquakes normally happen along faults and these are areas of the earth where the ground is sort of cracked and there's tension that the stress that builds up and once that energy is released it snaps and the faults move apart that's how normally they okay so in Botswana the most prone area is the Okavango Delta which we know is part of the East African Rift System the East African Rift System extends all the way from Ethiopia and passes through countries like Kenya and that's where major earthquakes in Africa experienced we have a number of those earthquakes in the Okavango Delta, although most of them are very small, like less than three in magnitude. They are normally not felt by people, although they are measured by uh, instruments. The voice speaks for itself.